Alrighty, welcome back everyone. Uh, we are now hitting episode 10. Finally hit the double digits on the Night Owls podcast. Uh, I am here. Beerman is back. Wait. What? Wait we did 7A and 7B. Third person. Oh, I see what you're saying. So yeah, we already okay. hit double digits, but well, we yeah. do fuck mosquitoes. Man. Does that even... <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I've just got the worst itch on... The Either world. way, I'm here with Jonathan. I'm yep. here with Peter. Hello. And we're here with Ben. Three fantastic young and fine gentlemen <laughs> ready to give us the best <coughs> conversations right, a man cut, can have. Cut, cut, start it over. That sucked. Shut up. No, <laughs> Don't you even dare. He's rusty. <laughs> it is 9 I think 06. we should always start it. <laughs> yeah, I'm telling you, we, we had chemistry. It is 9.06. Look, I'm not going to lie. I have I have been working for 10 days straight and I, I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of losing it, well, but it's fine. You know, now you're here. Now you're I'm with here with the boys. With the boys on the podcast oh on the Ooh, Night Owls good. podcast, ooh, and we ooh, got ooh, a ooh, bunch of nice ooh, topics. Okay. Ooh. <laughs> oh my! <laughs> okay. All right. <laughs> All right, moving on. What's our coffee, Ben? Uh, so this is actually <clears throat> from a company called Oliver Pluff. I hold on. I Oliver Bluff. Pluff. I swear to God. Oliver <laughs> Gruff. <laughs> Oliver Scruff. Mm. Oliver Pluff and Company. Yeah. Um. So they do like, um, what this is is a colonial blend. And I actually meant to bring the thing with me so I could read off the actual and packaging. You forgot and it. I forgot it because you all oh, left yeah, while yeah. I was peeing. Thanks, guys. Yeah, we yeah, kind of left. Well, you could have gone and grabbed it. What? You, you were right behind me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I was too busy trying to not get left behind. I mean, we right. were taking your car. But we weren't going anywhere. Basically, what they do is they try and, like, do their best to emulate, like, a um, coffee from that time period. Uh-huh. Um, so, this is, like, a basic colonial blend from, like, 16... Late 1600 time mm-hmm. period. So, it was sourced from, what, Jamaica and India? Um, and coffee sort of became a bigger staple of America <coughs> over the tea taxes. Um... So yeah, it's a pretty interesting concept yeah. for a coffee brand. I thought it'd be a fun one to try. And then, so we were supposed to get the g- oh, Green yeah, Dragon yeah. one. Oh yeah, yeah, I ordered the wrong one because I'm an idiot. I wanted to order the <laughs> Green Dragon blend, which was like a famous like coffee tea house in Boston, mm-hmm. uh, and it was emulating their coffee there. And I accidentally clicked the wrong one, like a dummy. So here we are with the Colonial blend. We'll grab it next week. It's fun. <laughs> Sure, like we got money like that to just throw around. It's uh, fine. You know, it's it's fine. So before why, we why take not? a sip, let's all get toast. off your phones doing last minute research, you fools. I'm not connected oh. to fool. the internet. You fool. You fool. <laughs> okay, come on, let's go. All right, come click, on. Cookity clackity. All right, let's drink. Clonk. Mm. Interesting. Pickles. Yeah. Interesting. Mm. Mm. It's <laughs> definitely the guy with the ice cream. <laughs> this is horrible. ASMR. <laughs> uh, that's what we're comparing. You know, to. not the best coffee. Uh, it's not the worst. Definitely not the worst. Um, it's better than the cherry stuff. I think so. I was yeah. not here for that. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I, I, I did hear that it was pretty bad. It tastes we, like medicine. We goofed because I didn't put enough. Tell him to put enough cream and sugar in it. Yeah, yeah he I told heard. me it was. And you guys like swapped your mugs too, or something. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You got the right ones this time. But um, either way. So. God damn. Backstory. I started drinking coffee at work. Now. And now he thinks he's a connoisseur. <laughs> no, I'm just saying. I'm. You guys have brainwashed me into actually drinking coffee on a daily basis. We've taught you to be a normal human being who functions off of a caffeine addiction (laughs) like every other American. What's, uh, (laughs) remember the one episode of Sugar Pine 7 where he was, uh, where Steven Subtick was teaching what's his face? They they were buying clothes. Oh, Parker. Parker, Parker, Parker. yeah. (laughs) And then then Steven Subtick is, is like, I can't wait for Parker to be an actual... Human, human being. Functioning <laughs> human being. Yeah. So and did he ever? No. No. Oh, Good time. Not at I all. I missed that show. Me too. They got canceled. It got canceled they, well, because they it just... afford to keep it running. It, it just but, got... Yeah. But it's, besides cares. the point. So, I would, topics. I would definitely... Oh, oh, not not topics. Topics. oh wait. We're not oh, going to... We didn't do the review. 
Idiot. Your own damn coffee. Shut up. Okay. So I definitely uh, it's not more bitter than the than a lot of coffee. I mean, coffee is bitter, but like this one's really bitter. I don't. I don't, I don't necessarily. The flavor is not that great. Profound. Honestly, You're talking to a I'm novice crying. here. All right. A novice. A novice. Mm -hmm. Novice arcana. I'm sorry. Anyways, keep going. Um, please, for the love of God. <laughs> I definitely give this a solid maybe um mm, two. Wow, two out of five. Yikes. Okay. Yeah. Damn. That's I want to. I like. It's not necessarily high enough to give it a three, and it's definitely not as bad to give it a one. Yeah. But yeah, also, I it's like. I, I don't. I don't agree with that, but I know situations where that can. Well, what's your yeah. review? I <laughs> Not to suck my own dick, but I really dialed in this coffee, the creamer and sugar, because this is delicious. Yeah. Like, this is a five. <laughs> like, really? this, oh, yeah, absolutely. Is that the first, like, genuine five we've done? This is, no. this is actually a real, <laughs> seriously, this is really good coffee. I, I'd drink this every day if I had to. Yeah. Mm hmm Okay. I'm literally almost about to finish it, yeah, and it's only been just, three like, minutes. Well, <laughs> shit down, goddamn. It's wow. delicious. How much cream did you put in there? I put, uh, we weren't we weren't measuring, but I'd say, like, Two wrist flicks. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want uh, from yeah, me? Yeah, because that's standard totally of measurement. Wrist it's flick. like when you do shots of like one, two, <laughs> three. Show Instead right of there. using metric or we whatever, use flick, we use flick of the wrist. The Kilometers per AR fifteen per hour. Wow. <laughs> we'll get into that later. All right. <laughs> yikes! Yikes! <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> you're up. Jesus Christ. <laughs> um. So anyway, there's enough of them. Um, so I also um, really got a lot of uh, cream and sugar in this boy. Um, I am, I'd say, I'd say it's more around like a. I wouldn't give it a five. I'd say probably around like a four. Yeah. But yeah, I think it's really good. I should have put more cream in it. Um. I definitely like if it if this did not have. Uh, as much cream and sugar in it, I could understand it not being very good, because uh, we had a sip of it black, and it was uh, it was a little a little bitter. It tastes Just like straight up medicine, actually. I'm not even gonna lie. Yeah, um, and that's why I put more creamer in it. Yeah, you know, um, maybe it's not as caffeinated as it was. Well, but my coffee right now is you know, is pretty is pretty light. As better. Shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> like <laughs> like in, in color. Yeah. It's light in color. Um. That makes sense. So. Yeah, uh, I'd say I'd say four. I'd say I'd solid, give it a four. A yeah. solid four. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and the experts, <laughs> the experts. Please <laughs> share us your almighty wisdom. <laughs> it's Sorry. pretty good. The hell was that? What? Jonathan just exercised a demon from his body. I don't, right. don't remember it at all. Um, cheese wheel. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty good. I enjoy it. Uh, I wouldn't say it's like anything like super standout or stellar it feels like a very run of the mill coffee I'd probably give it like 3.5 mm -hmm. that was very well, that was all over the place for the scale then yeah it was I guess I'd give it like a 3.5 average then um you got like two fours a three and I, a do, two. I do think you know I do think got a five but okay or a I five, think five I consistently bad. give out threes or 3.5s like that is yeah you can't find that one coffee that's good and you can't find that one coffee no, that's I bad. found the coffee that's good I think the, the <laughs> I think the concept of this coffee is really cool yeah uh, oh yeah no, and I, totally I think big. you know since it's colonial coffee I didn't really expect it to be like 10 yeah, out of 10 yeah fantastic right it hasn't you know we don't get any of the fancy shit like, right no French vanilla <laughs> so it's not it's not a so just for me, at least, just because it's not as great as the other coffees we've had, that doesn't necessarily mean it's bad. I'm so sorry. You idiot. You away. stupid goddamn... Just kidding. These damn millennials idiot. can't get off their phones. Just so... Whatever. It doesn't even matter. Yeah. Um, it's yeah. literally a label. So, let us get into the... Hot and spicy topics mm. for today. Mm, 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 mm. I already can feel it. Feel the spice in my mouth. Do you guys? I want to go I and I want to talk about guns. <laughs> and I don't care who. So, all right, you can't stop right, me, right. Jonathan. Let's let's this start is with let's topic. start with Jonathan because so this will be a segue into your topic, okay. like a direct I mean, segue. They're, they're basically the same thing. It's, it's going to be one thing. big long sure. conversation. All right. Let's go. We can mooch off each other. It's fine. Let's go. All right, cool. Okay. Anyway. Um... So, each other down. <laughs> no, he made it. Never mind. So, 
<laughs> you fucking all right. So, <laughs> though recently the president um Said the made a fucking shit I've ever made heard. a speech. Um, What's well, new? And uh, he was talking about because of the uh, recent El Paso shooting. Um, and so and he was doing a uh, yeah and, and Gilroy Garlic Festival. Sorry, had to list them all. Yeah. Um, and he uh, he cited um, one of the sources of all this violence. Um, he says it's the cause of uh, of things such as the um, uh, like the violence in our culture. And then he cited for as an example video games. Mm-hmm. Um, and he he. He said that all the violence in video games, um, and and other there was a general from Texas, and I think there was a senator, that also um, kind of backed him up and said that you know these these games and this violence teaches people that it, it's okay to kill, mm-hmm. um, and this has been a topic of debate for a while now. You know, Since it didn't start with Donald it started Trump. Started about back, well, like the big discussion around it from what I was reading earlier started mm-hmm. around 2012, right after the Sandy Hook shooting. One of the member, the heads of the NRA came out and said yeah. it was mm-hmm. due to video games. Yeah, because the and kill, cause I remember because uh, the uh, the <clears throat> the shooter had a tons of Call of Duty games in his basement. I, mm-hmm. I read that like, and the he, the most amount of like <clears throat> time that he put into a game though was like just dance, not even like <laughs> any of those like crazy yeah. killing games. <clears throat> um, just tits. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the the El Paso shooter also, um, like in his manifesto, I believe, um, also cited like his super soldier fantasy or something, um, mm-hmm. and he played a lot of like Call of Duty. Um, so, th- so this debate is not anything new, but every time this debate has been brought up, mm-hmm. it's been debunked. Yeah. Um, and to me, there've been multiple studies. What makes yeah. you think that? this is any different. Yeah, um, not. I don't know if... I know I definitely sent you this, but um, Fox News interviewed uh, Rod Breslau, uh, pretty much uh, the man who... A man behind uh, one of the E3 tournaments. Am mm-hmm. I correct in that? I don't know. He, I know he, he's he, like he a worked, professional video he, game player. He is a professional video game player. Um, and essentially, he went on Fox News to talk about how video games don't cause real-life violence. And... The main thing is like why this only happens here in America. Like, despite gaming and esports are being played worldwide. Yeah. So right. the biggest thing on that is that you can't blame video games for gun violence when gaming is a worldwide phenomenon. As in, you got people, and I'm gonna just like mostly in Europe, Korea, and the northern China. American states. China is a huge place. China is a huge place too. And Japan. a lot of. Yeah, in Japan. Yeah, Japan is I well. Think to it's be like fair, a lot like of the percent more players in Japan than there are in the United States, and there's zero. Mm-hmm. National as the as a yeah. devil's advocate, um, I think gun laws are different there. That's the oh. point. That's what we're getting. Oh yeah, that's true. what we're getting. <laughs> yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> that's the, that's the you're whole right. point. You but know? the main thing um, is, like, they're trying. They're sending. Like the whole interview was about a bunch of, um, <clears throat> I believe it was uh, politicians and different officials. Um, that we're talking about how, you know, uh, just violence in video games has a direct correlation it, to, me, to it, gun violence. To and, m- like, it's been debunked so many, so many, so many times. And you have Rod Breslau, like, kind of sitting here in the interview, like, just getting so many testimonies in front of him. He's like, yeah, all right, cool. Well, why is this only happening here and not everywhere else? Exactly. Do your research to me, thing. it seems like people are trying to find like they're sidestepping the real issue. Oh, they're no, trying totally. to they're they're, they're trying using to find video games as a cop out. It's right. absolutely. You know what? I genuinely think sure. If you think this rise in like media portraying violence is a thing, you may have some grounds to that argument. You know, yeah, whatever. I can agree We're with getting that. desensitized a little bit. Mm-hmm. But it's happening worldwide. It's not just America. Exactly. And the solution worldwide is gun control. Mm -hmm. You know, it's seen time and time again. The solution isn't taking away the media or this new, like, form of, you know, entertainment. Mm -hmm. It's the guns. Like, Mm -hmm. it fucking baffles me that anyone is stupid enough to genuinely believe that America is in trouble because of video games and not guns. All these people that are saying this are, like, 
<laughs> like crotchety old men who yeah. have never touched a video game in their life. It's, and if they did, it's because they've seen like their grandson playing Call yeah. of Duty and automatically said, oh my God, this is what's causing all the mass shootings. Like, to un- to believe this argument, you literally have to put on blinders to every fucking fact out there <laughs> right now. Uh, like, there's a, there was a study I was looking, a uh, study of uh, from University of Massachusetts... And they they studied a thousand teens playing violent video games, and they they all were polled and questioned and said, "Do you feel like you have any more violent tendencies than you did before that this the other?" Mm-hmm. Da, da, da. And they said verbatim, they found a quote whole lot of nothing. Yeah, they said it was a waste of their time. I to found even research it because the main, the pro- it's so, been researched before multiple times. So now, I, I, I hang on one second. I'll say one thing. My dad. Uh, has always said we had this conversation and we said you know maybe what the thing is is that this is a this is um almost a simulator for the people that are this hate filled yeah it's a way it's an outlet for them which sure maybe what you should do is not let them buy those things you know people who are on a watch list for not buying guns should also not be able to buy violent video games you know maybe that's the solution because you don't want them having this outlet for all this this anger, well, they I mean, should go get help. Wouldn't we want them to have an outlet? I'm sorry? Wouldn't we want them to have an outlet? Maybe a better outlet than... A better outlet. You know, I, because the thing is, then it's just... People, you know, I don't... Yeah. But, but the, but the thing is, is, if we have gun control first, then we don't have to worry about them getting the gun. Right, right, right. But what Then I, they don't need it. The, mm-hmm. big, the biggest thing on all that is, like, they need to do more research before they go pointing fingers. I don't know. They've already if, done research. They don't need to do any more research. There is nothing to research. Well, that's Guns the thing. Like, they them. need to research the research that was well, already you're, there. You're talking about, like, the people that are calling the video games The people that are calling video games out. Yeah. Absolutely. So... Because the, the main thing on that is... And I'll provide an example. Um, ben, I don't know if you read about this. Um, you know the new hero Overwatch that we're hyped about, Sigma? Yeah. So, the backstory on this guy is... He was a scientist who was uh, testing with gravity, ended up creating a black hole, but went wrong and he was thrown into a sort of like mental instability where mm-hmm. you cut to him and he's in a straight jacket. He has no idea what's going on. Um, the backstory is, uh, I think Talon, the evil terrorist corporation, they brainwashed him and now he's evil. Mm-hmm. Um uh-huh. Media, uh, some media outlets were actually calling Overwatch out for having him as a. They ha- made o- They were saying that Overwatch was portraying um, people with mental illnesses or disabilities as villains, mm-hmm. and they were like going on that for like a full on week, and that's obviously not the case whatsoever. Like, yeah, I mean, I think we're that was changing the subject. Well, no, bit. I'm I'm providing an example of like if you don't do your research on like what What's everything actually, actually is, right. yeah, you're mm-hmm. not like everything that you're going to be saying is just not going to be either factually true or it's just going to be mm-hmm. like you're nothing. Gonna look like an idiot. Yeah. yeah, and before you look like an idiot, please do as much research as you can. I um I think that people, you know, it's it sucks. Speak like off the. Thing of mental illness, mm-hmm. it sucks that they're blaming video games because not only like maybe video games is part of it, but the only people that are really affected by these video games and want to go emulate them is people with mental illnesses. Yeah, I, I've played uh, not not only mental mental illness but also hate filled people. Yeah, I think it's, it's a hate, little bit. It's, past it's a communis- men- combination. Of it's more than just mental illness. These past there few have been lots of people with. Mental illness there are a lot problems. of people with mental illness. Well, yeah, of mental course, I'm not. This is a very broad. Like, term. I'm not trying to yeah. generalize yeah, these yeah. people. Like, of yeah. course, it's not all people with like severe mental illnesses. Mm-hmm. But there are people who, I mean, who do have mental illnesses and would want to go emulate this kind of thing. I've been playing like Call of Duty and Halo. Like, I grew up watching my dad play Halo. No Russian. The fucking yeah, Call yeah, Duty yeah, level? yeah. Like, I've never wanted. I see. I. I like that shit's gross. Like I, yeah. I didn't like that level. <laughs> yeah, no, it, it's Doesn't... meant to make you feel shitty and bad. Yeah, like, exactly. And it did. Yeah. yeah, I remember playing it. Like this is fucked. I shouldn't be doing this. And I was like, well, I gotta beat the level. And then I beat the <laughs> level, just... and I was like, all right, nice. So <laughs> don't want to do that ever again. The yeah. main, like, and if you know what we're talking about, nice, awesome. Glad you played the game, but yeah, that level was fucked, and I'm sure you agree. 
Yeah. Yeah. But. And Call of Duty got a lot of flack for it, and I think they took the route that we're saying. You're saying, you know, that was a that was a, a point where you know, if you did do it, because you had the choice to not. I mean, but you, you get, lose. Yeah, you lose. Exactly, but so I you mean, don't really have a choice. I mean, technically, but I mean, you always have a choice in general if you're going to run that. There's route. also lots of censorship in Call of Duty. I don't think people realize. Like you're still shooting, killing people, but like you can censor language they and blood added, and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, they added a, a part in Black Ops One where you could uh, d- uh, dull down the blood because of uh, you could, like totally turn it off too. Yeah, right? you can turn off blood. And well, yeah. Black Ops One was like gory a little bit. I remember that came I remember out when playing we were like zombies. middle school and you could like blow people's arms off and I remember being Actually able to no, like, it's more gory now. Black hell. Ops like, yeah, yeah. Black God Ops damn. 3 was pretty bad. Mm-hmm. I remember that cuz they had they added the specialists. So like people with like war machines were like blowing the shit out of people and they would like explode into 10 pieces. <coughs> and I was like, "Wow, look at that." Yeah, but like also I played I Mortal seen... Kombat as a little Exactly. Like, I played Mortal Kombat too. Mm-hmm. Plenty of or people Street play. Fighter there were or in arcade machines nope. and People weren't going out and ripping out each other's spines back in like the point the is yeah. you 80s. can see all of this for yourself. I'm <laughs> I've literally seen video footage of people getting sniped in the head, and I still don't have a single violent bone in my body. Right, you're literally in the army. I'm you literally in the military. Before. I just took a CLS class where I'm watching videos of people getting blown to bits, mm-hmm. quite literally. Like Fucking I, gross. I have, I, I have seen the. What this is, is it's not a result of video games or anything. It's a result of hate-mongering in our fucking country, in our society. Mm -hmm. You know, this guy in the Walmart went in there and shot it up because he believed we were being invaded by Mexicans. Mm -hmm. You know, and he killed six people from Mexico. That's a killed a kid. Yeah. 12-year-old kid. Jesus Christ. Um, They're trying... had his whole life ahead of him. What I'm hearing is Mexico... He was grabbing school supplies. I'm sorry. ...is trying... To get him extradited there, so he gets charged there. Um, Texas is already charging as a domestic terrorism, and he's probably going to get the death penalty. As the, the way that, um, you know, Good. we extradited, they extradited El Chapo to us. Mm-hmm. They're talking about trying to extradite him to, to Mexico. Mexico. Mm-hmm. Which, fuck yeah, do it, dude. Like, he should go there for the fucking way he killed their people. I'm so fucked up. Well, the, the thing world is, is fucked. Well, the real problem is, and I remember when I was in elementary school and I was, we had an active shooter drill, which was the first one I experienced. Jacob, stop touching the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me? Exactly. Anyways. Yeah. Um, and I was like, you know, this is just not okay. I shouldn't have to do this. I should be able to learn here. I don't need to be afraid to, of, of someone coming in wanting to kill people. Mm-hmm. I, it's not, and the, fucking problem is is these goddamn assault rifles i don't care who you are what you do what you believe in you don't need an assault rifle and, and I, jacob can testify for me. i will say this um considering i do have a military background i know that all civilians should not have an assault rifle those things they they should not be in the hands of not even military members when they're off post now i'm saying this as just my personal opinion, but I believe that you should have a temporary license on a handgun that you must qualify for, I say, at least every two, three years. I say that assault rifles, no, that's a big no-no. The The only reason, the only reason, the only place that they would probably be used is either in actual military combat overseas or on base, or, or if there's range. like a national emergency or anything like Not that. Not even in, in a gun range. No, well, I, but in a but gun I, range, in a gun range, I can see that as. I mean, maybe if the gun range specifically owns that and like rents it out just to shoot I guess there, so, yeah. it has like a very now, tight. I'm like, talking about owning on. I mean, you oh, can like shoot mini guns at gun ranges if you wanted to. Like, I'm saying owning m- actual mini guns? assault. Yeah, like you can shoot whatever you want at gun ranges. See, yeah. all right, I'm bringing my bazooka. I was about to say you're about to take <laughs> no. my fucking RPG any, down to the gun. Like, no, but like any semi auto or full auto assault rifles should not be in the hands of civilian use I'm just con- or military use outside of post. Maybe, yeah. maybe I just don't understand, but like, what is the use there of, isn't. of an a, like owning an AR-15? There is no use. If you're and just to flex on people? I did the, I did you the don't research. Use to that defend top. your home, Jonathan. Because you don't... What if someone comes into your house, how are you going to put 32 bullets in them in under a minute? 
If you don't uh, own one You know one what? Of these, you're right. You're right. God, another, I'm sorry. God. I'm another, sorry. Next so time you're going to kill a deer so, with one, you know? <laughs> another... <laughs> blow the brains out. Yeah, right. How are you going to take a deer's head, clean off its fucking neck without one of these? Another guys? situation God, is the on. fact I'm that... I'm so stupid. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm listening, Jacob. Another situation is that you can actually buy um, parts for these weapons just off to of To make any... them worse. Well, yeah. If you know how to make a weapon, it's not hard. But I don't know how to make a weapon, Jacob. It... I know how to take apart one, and I've seen the ins and outs. It's not hard to what is create this, a weapon. Full metal jacket. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but this is my yeah, weapon. well, people have started like three D printing like weapons so, so they can bring them in like airplanes. Maryland and banned stuff. that, by the way. If you're wondering, Go I ahead. think the country actually banned it because they had that problem where people were selling the blueprints. I remember that scare yeah, where that's they're like fucked if, up. I did. Uh, my brother was an FMF uh, corpsman, Navy corpsman, mm. and served. Three tours. We went to Kuwait, Afghanistan, and I think Syria. I don't remember. But anyways, being a doctor, he saw some serious shit. He knew what what these weapons could do, and he said wholeheartedly, "I all I want is a crossbow. You know, I will hunt with a crossbow, and that's it. I don't need a gun. It's not it's not necessary." And the thing is, is that if you're I'm I I am okay with people having a handgun or a hunting rifle. Yeah, me too. Yeah, it's same. you know you can go I hunting. I maybe a hunting rifle. I don't know about a handgun. Handgun, can go, I would say for personal. You can still kill a lot of fucking people with a handgun. But not ne- but not nearly as much as what. Not they're... nearly as much, but you can still. And if that's you, also if you what... ban, hang on, no, stop, stop talking. If you ban extended magazines on pistols, and if you ban bump stocks, you know you can't really do much. And also, if you ban shotguns, because you don't need a shotgun to hunt an animal. Maybe a pistol, but no concealed carry. I don't think that's fucking, like, cool at I all. Think, I, like, think, I think, I think, I don't think, I do not I don't like think the U.S. is ready Walmart for concealed knowing carry. knowing that someone can fucking have a concealed carry pistol. Now, the thing is... There's ways to get it in Maryland, did you know? The thing is that there are... If you get it in Utah, you can bring it to Maryland. Now, a thing for, um... Lovely. <laughs> One of the things I know, um, I know about concealed carry that is that mostly what people only get that is if there's like an immediate threat to their life, they like actually. But no one ever does it for that. No, they They don't because they want to fuck up some people for no fucking reason. I know people who do that, and it's not cool. Call them out for it. I do it. Get his ass beaten. Call them out. (laughs) But that's how you get shot. You're not going to solve the problem (laughs) if you don't talk to them. Sorry, I'll but, talk But to these him. people have guns. <laughs> no, the biggest thing is... is Shoot me. <laughs> so the point is... Politicizing. <laughs> politicizing. Who Another cares? thing is, I know like I know the guy very well. Is he going to like walk around and shoot up uh, any place at all? No. He actually uses... Right, that's what you think. No, I, I know. No one ever thinks people will do this, but then they do this. And it's either hate-filled or because... If we knew they were going to do it, we'd stop it beforehand. Well, yeah. Well, if we had gun control, we wouldn't have to do that, would we? Huh. Big brain time right here, boys. Really? Amazing. (laughs) But either way, it's it's a matter of... Stop blaming video games, for the love of God. Also, I got a little bit of an interesting experience today. So I have a a shirt that says, Protect Kids, Not Guns. (laughs) And Uh I wore it today. Uh Uh-huh. And um, I went to go get a haircut today, and my stylist didn't say a single word to me. Uh-huh. Fun fact. She said zero words other than, is that okay? Does that look good? I mean, maybe she was just having a bad Yeah, day. maybe she oh, was. Oh, I don't think so, because she looked right at my shirt and went like, she rolled her eyes. She rolled uh, her eyes. Well, I mean, in that case. <laughs> and, you know, and then I went to a few other stores. I went to Target. I went to Walmart. I walked by the gun area in Walmart just to flush <laughs> <down> <laughs> just, Oh, my God. <laughs> because, you know, I, you know, I... It's yeah, just uh, b- looking at the guns, no big deal, <laughs> like stretching. Looking at the like, guns that should be illegal. Oh, like, protect guns, my kids. <laughs> how can you not <laughs> agree with that statement? Yeah. Anyone who comes up and says, that shirt's wrong, Second Amendment, and I'm like, so you want your children to die. It's all fun and games until your kid is on the gravestone. It's not, it's not, it's not a matter of a Second Amendment right. It's a matter of life and death. The fact that we have over... 259 mass shootings and it's only what the 240th day of the year is just unacceptable and the fact that we have a sitting president who is arguably not even arguably factually the worst president we've ever had in the history of the United States okay (laughs) and he doesn't do shit about it and he doesn't condemn this white nationalist piece of shit and all of his deplorable friends you know it's it's ridiculous he did condemn 
He did bring that up. Yeah, whatever. I don't care. He's he, still a piece of he's shit. He's failed to do it in the past. And Beto O'Rourke is absolutely correct by saying on that. He said on national television. Did you hear that? Beto O'Rourke said on national television. Oh, yeah. Oh. Donald Trump is a white nationalist. I was like, you're oh, right. He was like Wait, what? giving it to him. Beto O'Rourke. Beto O'Rourke's like fucking, fucking one of his sentences. I don't know, but. Yeah, he, he was like, have you seen the shit he's been doing? <laughs> Who is that? Uh, he's, presidential uh, candidate from Texas. He almost won the senator. Yeah, Jacob, how you feeling? Yeah, he almost beat Ted Cruz in Texas, which is just like fucking crazy that a Democrat because a Democrat hasn't won in won 35 years in Texas. It was like within like a percentage of a point. It was a percentage of a point. Yeah. All right. Was, well, let's let's stop making Beerman uncomfortable. You okay, bud? You gonna talk now? Your leader's a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> Your boss fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, he's ruined this country. He makes me feel unpatriotic. Oh my god. Okay, so moving, <laughs> on next, moving on to the I'm next. Sorry, I, I I'm passionate about so, my country and I don't want it to see. So fail. what's there? What's 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 this about? Um, uh, Siberian wildfires. Oh, oh, that's we're done with wait, guns no. already. Wait, wait. I thought I feel like I had something else to say. I don't know. Never mind. I definitely had something else to say there for a second. I too. I'm not. Oh oh yeah yeah. I I did want. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You ruined it, Jacob. This isn't this isn't. It would have been faster if you just stayed quiet. <laughs> Um, I, I think that people are so, it's been so hard, difficult to change this amendment because it's the second amendment. People are like, oh, this is so important because it's right below the first amendment and people, people give it the same. Keep talking. But also like this was written so fucking long. Right. And it it was written about about fucking muskets. Yeah. Then you have to take (laughs) like five minutes to reload a musket, dude. Like you want to what? Hmm? What do you want to say? Jacob, say it. Hi. No, also, it, the right to form a well-organized militia. A well-organized militia is a group of four or five men with muskets. I think it's That's just, the colonial definition of it. I think it's just, like, so ingrained. Well, not in colonial times. Verba- does it say muskets? No, but, no. like, it's it's firearm. But, you know, it's it, it was, a militia muskets is... Muskets were the firearms when it was written. If you want to relate it to that colonial period, it was muskets. Um... But yeah, I mean, I'm sure that during the time that that was written, they had no concept of something, a magazine that could shoot like well, they didn't 100 have it rounds in under a minute. Yeah, like they would have never thought of that. Because yeah. people would talk in between reloading the gun. They'd be like, <laughs> hey, how's your wife doing? And it's like, she's doing all right. All right, sorry, got to kill you though. Hey, how's your wife doing? Yeah. Oh, that's not what. Oh my God. Um, but I think we're just like, it's so gen, like ingrained in our society. Right. Problems. And it's just like, at the core of it, it's really just selfish. Yeah, no, it totally no one wants is. to give them th- up. I think a lot of people know that guns are the problem and are looking for any excuse to like to not give up something they don't want. They yeah. don't want to get rid like, of. Like it's it's totally like an enjoyment <sighs> thing, and it's like I got to, this I... is my this is what <laughs> I want to do as a hobby. So fuck you and these people who are. Dying. It's fucking weird. S- I I think it's fucking creepy yeah. and weird. People that have that are like obsessed with the guns. Yeah, like it's super fucking weird. Like like I'd be in high school. Like... I'd be in high school and people were like looking at like BB gun websites and like yeah. looking. Oh, do you see this new gun that just came out? Like yeah, from like... airsoft. Like what? <laughs> do I need? Am I okay? Why are you? Why yeah, are man, people you doing? like so? It's so fucking weird. It is. It's like. Such a Anyways, weird thing to be obsessed with. I, th- I saw something on. Uh, I, hang on, wait, 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 wait <laughs> no, no. meant to kill someone. Before this gets out of my head, there was this interviewee on Fox News. It was a, it was a, a senator, or a, a lobbyist for the a gun lobby. I don't know, but anyways, they were talking about how there's like three, three hundred fifty million AR-15s on the street, mm-hmm. in, or in the hands of American owners, uh-huh. and. The guy was just like, you know, why would I want to get rid of a gun that sells? A popular item that sells. What the fuck? <laughs> why is an AR-15 <laughs> a popular item with Americans? No. It's just, it's something... I I feel part of it is a... It's a business. business. Like oh, that's, absolutely. That's another reason why it's probably so... It's too, mu- it's too corporate for its own good. It should be more of everything a, is fucking corporate. Gay. Okay. <laughs> and the fact what? that and the yeah, fact Jacob, that Dick, you're so proud of your new corporate job. Fuck you. <laughs> Beerman's sitting in the corner right now. Yeah, Beerman is upset because he position. can't partake in the conversation. I like can. my new job. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do you I mean like you can partake. We're not talking about anyone in your direct line of command. I don't know why you're. Yeah, you were partaking Come on, earlier. Dude. I don't have a gun. <laughs> what? Thank God you don't. <laughs> I don't know how much you live. <laughs> but. 
That's I mean, rude. <laughs> yeah, well, you're it is just yourself. like such an odd thing to have as like your hobby. Like I love this thing that is totally meant to kill things. Like it's sociopathic. It really is it's <laughs> fucking it's weird. Weird. Uh, guns are meant to fuel the worst side of any human mind. It's the part that guns should be taken way more seriously than that. They aren't. It's terrible. Hold on, I saw this stupid fucking if redneck. If you knew, if you knew, <laughs> having a handgun in your home increases the possibility of someone dying by it by thirty five percent. I yeah. And that's just a risk I don't want to take. I'd rather have a bat under my bed or a machete under my bed. I'd rather have machete. Throwing. I I have yeah, a bat I don't, next about, to my... I don't know about machete. Hold on, I saw this wonderful meme that I screenshotted. Your God-given right to own a piece of delicately designed and intricately crafted interlocking metal pieces that cause a small explosion in your hand that propels a smaller piece of metal forward at incredible speeds for the purpose of efficient and effective killing of what of killing what you pointed at, and that is what people are so fucking hard for. Well, when yeah. you when you put on like that, there's mag there's magazines uh, like actual flipping magazines. I mean, that- at that point, just get a water bomb. You guys know what those are? D- Beer, but are you okay? <laughs> you Jacob, know? if you're going to speak, get back in your fucking chair. Yeah. yeah. Do you guys know what water bombs are? <laughs> Jacob, get in your seat. Do you guys know what water bombs no. are? No. So water, water bombs, bombs are... Don't give people ideas. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I mean, I'm still going to say what it is. <laughs> Good. <laughs> water bombs are essentially um, extremely... It's essentially this little thing of water, right? And when it blows... The water shoots out in all directions so fast that it cuts through. It can pierce skin? It can pierce That's skin, fucking tissue, insane. and everything. It blows people to shreds. Nice. Just water. There is a man who, like, threw one of those... I mean, if you jump off a building, like... Yeah, right, you're going to hit practically get... cement. So, <laughs> yeah, Spot. now imagine but... now imagine water coming at you that fast. Faster than that, actually. It uh, goes right dude, through you. I don't want to. I don't need to. I mean, because I'm never going to. You shouldn't that in my use life. that. You shouldn't use a gun. You well, shouldn't kill that, people. Now that's well, now we're gonna have to ban no, water bombs. No, no, no we no, should. Those, those, <laughs> no, 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 no. Those specifically are, are for military we use. We can't only. have water balloon fights. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you are? You trying to take away my God-given right to my throw a water balloon? My okay, okay. Seventy seventh amendment to water all, bombs. In all realistic, in all realistic narc. views, water bombs are strictly for military use only, and that is not given to a civilian as far I as think, I'm aware. I think we've beaten this topic we've been, to but, death. Yes, Can and conquer one from God given rights. Of we've guns been talking about this. For there's no God given right to we're anything. We're moving God, on what's from your the God given right what's your of no, guns. I thought we were talking to about something that spits in the face of God. What? Hold on. In Japan. They are currently working on growing Jacob, stop human the organs mic, you freak. inside of animals. Oh, so really? That is it transplanting? Or yeah, is it's it... for the... Po- no, no, no. It's like the animal is growing this organ inside of it, and it's a human organ for the purpose of transplants. That's fucking gross, dude. No, that's... Wait, epic. inside? Yeah. No, dude, that's so cool. Yeah. I've, I find it very intriguing, but I also like wonder like how was that... Even going to work. So like, what they're doing no, right I now think that's is super they, duper cool, they've got actually. like a genome yeah, or whatever of rats that can't grow a pancreas, mm, and okay. they're putting in human stem cells and replace the pancreas to replace it Dude. with a human pancreas. Uh, and as stem cell research, wait, no one, wait, hold everyone on. thinks it's inhumane, but stem cell research is so vital to like you could I if we if we invested the amount of money we could in stem cell research that we don't right now, we could probably cure cancer. I'm not even gonna lie. It's that good. You can. Uh, I, I'm serious. If mm-hmm. you do your you research, make it you, sound like it's like a five course. It's that good. Like, <laughs> delicious. That good. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love stem cells, you know. But like, no. But seriously, num, num, they're num, num, very num. effective. Yeah, yeah. No, the it's process? fucking insane. The, like they just got approved on it because there were like laws of like super inhumane. Like, like, yeah. Are you cheating, God? <laughs> yeah. yeah maybe, um, yeah. um. But that's what they're starting with. Is they're growing human pr- pancreases inside of rats. And, and the plan is to start growing it inside of, like, pigs and cows that are going to get slaughtered for meat anyway. Oh, you see okay. that and then one? we can use those organs for transport. Did you yeah. see that one article where they, like, merged a, like, a human and a donkey? And, like, like that's now an embryo that that's exists. What they're, that's what they're talking about. But people are thinking that it's, like, 
oh, dude, we're like making half human, half donkey people, but that's not what the fuck they're doing. They're just putting human organs inside of animals. Right. What <laughs> if you go? It's the first step to furries. But you know, biology not. like organs are pretty much the same. They're just different. Oh sizes. my god. So, so hold on. Furries I'm confused. are becoming real. So I'm confused though. So they're growing human pancreas pancreas in in mice. Yeah. How, how does it fit? I mean, it's it's going to be small. But it's gonna work Whoa. and operate the same way human ones. So, so if I was my pancreas was fucked, I'd get a human pancreas from a mouse, but it would just be well, like miniaturized. No, the oh. the plan is to make sure it works first and then start growing big ones oh, okay. that are human it's size. Testing. Yeah, this is. Oh, okay. We're just in the testing phase. They just got approved to do this. Gotcha. So, do you think stem cell research is inhumane and also cheating God? That's Fuck the question. No. I think we should keep doing it. Like, I mean, if we're doing this, I don't. Like, I think that's great. Stem cell research is very, it, it's it's huge. It, wanna, it provides us with a up. lot of different like opportunities, not only for humankind but also for like plenty of animals too. Like <laughs> the amount of shit we've already been able to do, like we've done cloning before. And yeah, like, and if we keep funding this, we can get better cloning, and you know, maybe live. Maybe clone ourselves, you know? And just well, move our consciousness. <laughs> With Elon Musk's brain technology, Elon Musk we can move our consciousness so- over to clones and oh live god. forever. <laughs> All I'm saying... Oh my god. Have you guys seen Alter Carbon? No, but yeah. I've heard it's really oh, good. Yes. I, it's fantastic. I, I watched the Stax, first episode and I thought it was Stax, stupid. Man, I was fucking st- dumb. Like, but the that's whole cyber concept. Kinetics. That the is whole, cyber kinetics. Yeah, and also... Cyber kinetics. Oh man, dude. The whole concept of... So, highly the thing is, the body mods is so... All right, we're getting. No, we can't get into this. I will talk to you. No, 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 no. We're getting into this right now. No, we're not. Yes, we are. Alter carbon. Jake is surprised when he can't partake in a topic, but when the two of you want to talk about a TV show only you've seen, it's okay. Well, that's why I'm about to give you backstory. If you shut up and listen. Oh, I care so much about altered carbon. All right, Ben. What's the TV show that only you have seen? Uh, (laughs) So. (laughs) Looks up the porno you both turned (laughs) into. Well. Is that the closest you can get, really? We'll really? Talk, we'll, we talk about that one after the podcast. We'll no. Anyways, it. We'll so right Alter now, Carbon, for those of you who Shut haven't up. seen it, it is Shut a show up. on Netflix that takes place in the distant future. It's like Blade runner It's very Blade Runner-esque. It's not good. So though. what happens is... Um, good. I watched the first The episode. human consciousness is <laughs> put into a chip called a stag. I haven't seen it in about a year. It's so. a stag. Yeah. Stag, yeah. Not a and stag. It's it's essentially a stag. Burr. And what they do is they actually have <laughs> human bodies essentially like How did we get here? They they essentially create human bodies and they keep them in like these little bags. For distribution, right? really. For distribution. So each stack Where did my topic go? It's gone it's, with the wind. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. We're talking about <laughs> cyberpunk stuff. So whenever someone dies, um they they pretty much take out their stack of the dead body, put it in another body, boom. It's your con- your consciousness is contained in a stack. Yeah. If your stack is damaged though, you're fucked. But that's why yeah, F. but that's not important. That that's not important to this point. The point is, like, it's a whole Medical futuristic advances. society where people can live forever and they're immortal. I feel like if you can contain a consciousness, that'd be cheating God. That's the level where Fuck I would yeah. say where I would say, okay, <laughs> you guys are kind of fucking up the system, but okay. Whatever. Nah, man, who doesn't want to live forever? Like, that sounds I don't want to live forever. I mean, it, I, I wouldn't want to live forever if nobody else lives forever. Like, I wouldn't want to be the only one and see all my like, friends die and shit. Yeah. We could all be, like, fucking traveling space if we live forever. Right, I want to see, like, like... how cool would that be? I want to see, like, future the cars pro- and shit. Right. The pro- but the problem <laughs> is, is I'd be bored, and also I'd still be poor. <laughs> Like, uh, why would I want to live forever if I'm just going to be poor and annoyed? Not necessarily going to be poor. Yeah, yeah, maybe. If probably. you live forever, then... Who knows can... what the future holds? Right. I'll say... If you lo- keep playing the lottery forever, eventually you'll exactly. win. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, uh, whatever. Fuck that. Yeah. Only... Guys, Anyways. it took me like five million years, but I finally got the winning numbers. Woo! And then by that time... And then by that time, <laughs> the, the currency is, is like... Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At that point, the whole... Uh, back to my actual topic... Mm. Sorry. Do you think this is inhumane? No, no, not not at all. I mean, if I think we're we should foster research, if we it. are using it, if we are growing shit in in things like pigs, um, and the pigs are being slaughtered anyway, mm-hmm. um, 
for for food, which is benefiting us. And Would you want to eat a pig that grew human organs inside of it? Yeah, I'd, I'd fucking eat a pig with I mean, human it's organs. Like we, it's not like we, it. bacon's bacon, dude. It's yeah, not like right. we eat the organs of a pig. Like, we don't eat I mean, fucking pig hearts. Do. I mean, that's weird. Wait, what? Some people eat, like, organs. Have you guys oh, had yeah. chicken? Like, people Have you guys had like gator before? Heart. Yes. No. I said chicken. It's so good. Does Jacob good. just not like my topic? Sorry. <laughs> I get very... <laughs> Jacob's just loopy today. I don't know what's going on. I, Something uh, in the coffee. Uh, he's going to no, make he's a, just... an excuse about his job and talk about how he's working corporate. Yeah, but no one knows that he hasn't time. been working for three months. But, okay. But look at where I am now. That's great. And you've been in, what, week and a half and you're already dead? Okay. Well, join the party. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. <laughs> Sorry, I had to lay in. Would you, I couldn't would be Would you happier. let them put, like, a... Animal grown organ inside of you? If it's effective, oh, inside of me, work. Yeah. an animal grown organ inside it, of me. Oh, oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, if yeah, it's proven yeah. to function, then yeah, of course. Yeah. If if my life depended on it, yeah. I mean, I'm an organ donor. Everyone should be an organ donor. Yeah. You're dead. Why do you need them? You know. Fair enough. Yeah. We have, the thing is, if 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 what you're saying works and actually functions on a human scale, um, you can really solve the organ donor crisis. Yeah, I'm where sure my the, dog tags because I'm pretty so sure it says I'm an organ donor. On you're probably an organ donor. Oh, I absolutely organ am an organ donor. But, but, like, but that's not the point. <laughs> I have that on my license. That would eliminate, that would hurt, A, the black market of organ donating, uh, uh, donating <laughs> and it would also make what? millions of lives a lot better. Uh-huh. But, um, yeah. I don't know why Jacob feels the need to respond <laughs> silently all the time. Because he feels like he's interrupting he said, the I podcast, don't know. which I don't he probably is. Interrupt anyone. Shut up. We'll That's all right. Topics. Once we're when we're all rich and famous and have a video camera, we'll be able we'll to see how his reactions. Yeah, you remember when I, you know, me and Ben and I spent all that money on one microphone and no one else got anything. Because well, it's your fucking it thing. Now. This is your fucking podcast. <laughs> I'm not gonna spend money on need to. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, we might be getting... Never, I can't say that. Never mind. What? I was about to talk about stickers, but it's okay. Oh, we can spoil that. Spoilers. Um, spoilers. Spoiler wait, wait. We're talking about a topic, though. All right. Can we Thought talk about, about Siberian wildfires now? No. We're not talking about the fucking environment, you eco-terrorist. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I, no one fucks with me. It's because you've done the same topic three weeks in a row because now. Because the oh, no, wait, Earth is I have, dying. I know, but we are beating a dead horse. <laughs> All right, well, it's gonna be it. even more dead if we don't do anything. About I gotta it, admit, so. this topic d- did kind of like he he his mouth opened wide. My my mouth did actually open up because, because when I tell you, all right, I need. We should silence. just do an updated segment. But just I just like. Here's this week's update on how the Earth's dying. I cool, still... good. We don't need no, to talk about it. No, but also, hang on. Give me one second. Say something. What, Jonathan? Go while I'm finding this. Um. So <laughs> this kind of reminds me. So you've seen Blade Runner. Oh yeah. Um, so so. Wait, which one? Creepy. Any of them. Okay. okay. So so the so replicants are like they're not robots. They're like organically produced Modified. people. Yeah. Okay. Um. And like um. They're humans, but this is kind of this. This reminds me of kind of like the. Maybe the first step of that, because, you know, once we start growing organs, maybe we can start growing shit like ears and <laughs> fingers and then, like, arms and then whole whole ass people, you know? Now, that, oh. We're building feet. That would provide. I mean, we're already overpopulated. We don't need fit people, too. Well, once we start colonizing other planets. Just create robots. That way we don't have to feed them. Big brain. Thank you, Jacob. That's just going to cause a race war, but okay. <laughs> if we don't Jesus, put emotions wrong. into the robots... We're going to want to. We're just... Because we're, we're emotional beings, we're going to want to empathize and sympathize with them because then we're I just going to be looking like... Into robots we're going to look at it like screwing it's... Screwing them and... This. Exactly. Oh, my God. It's a slippery slope. It's not like we're going to be like movie, screwing uh, our Alexas. Like... Maybe not. Echo... Uh, do- like... Maybe That's because it doesn't feel things, Jacob. Exactly. That's why we don't make them feel things, because if they do, they'll want to kill us all and terminate Although, they might want to kill us all anyway. I mean... We don't necessarily need to give them I've emotions. I've definitely called Alexa quite a few mean names, and she probably hates me. Probably, yeah. Once the... Um, <laughs> I just only use my, my Alexa to set my alarm in the morning anymore. Dude, fuck Alexa. <laughs> Sorry. Like that, call- she she's listening all the time, and that's just not that's not cool with me. I agree, I and that. I have an Alexa. And- but your phone's also doing that. Apple just did. I that can with control Siri. that though. It's no, like you I'm can't. I have Siri off. It's still listening. Yeah, so when Alexa's matter. turned off, yeah, I, I mean, turn Siri on. off. 
I don't, Peter, I don't use Ap- it. Peter, Apple just got caught doing this. Really? Yes. I didn't know. And they just said they were stopping it. I'm hey, sure. Apple, that'll fuck a, you. That'll be a conversation Fuck, fuck you for next too, week. Facebook. Fuck you also, FBI and CIA that's right, listening anyways, to me. Fuck on. you guys. You tell them, Jonathan. Yeah. This has been a very Can impressive please episode. please talk about okay, the environment? Okay, fine. All right. <laughs> Fuck you for not caring about the environment. We I do care about, about the environment. Oh my we're god! We're talking been, about the same thing every you, week. This is the third time in a row that you've talked about the goddamn environment. Like we get it. We know <laughs> you, it's dying. We know you're a but fucking tree hugger. Three times on the podcast isn't gonna do shit. How could this happen to? All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Go update ahead. Update us. No, update us. Yeah, go ahead. Come on. I want to know now. I want to know. Yeah. Stop looking at memes. So, the most, <laughs> there is an outbreak of fire fires, wildfires. Uh-huh. Firefires. Shut up. <laughs> Spanning across the Siberian forest. Yeah, which is a, shut up. <laughs> yeah, we know where fucking Siberia is. It's in Russia, you dip. I know, but I was asking them. I'm sure they're competent human beings. They graduated well, high school. I don't know about Ben, but... <laughs> <laughs> nice. Anyways, so, in Siberia, which is a commonly cold... Shut we wear up. Glasses. We're smart. Jonathan. I don't even want to talk anymore. <laughs> no, go ahead. Seriously, go ahead. Yeah, I don't. For real. No. Cool. Seriously. Let me go to your topic. This is a taste of what it's like to be Jacob Beerman. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it. So I hope you're still alive by the next. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I smile every time the hate gets directed to someone else because they get to feel my everyday pain and suffering. <laughs> but the thing is, I'll act on it. I'll punch the shit out of these two if I have to. Oh. You won't. <laughs> Because I'm peaceful. Yeah, um, you're all I'm pieces of shit, so it's all right. Whatever. <laughs> I'm lawful evil. Uh, <laughs> you lawful <laughs> evil. This is the peace. problem. I'll go to yeah. peace marches, but I'll spit in the face of Trump supporters if I have to. Fuck them. What I'd am I? Am, sorry, I like, anyways. am I like a lawful neutral? No, you're just. Stupid. We are getting so goddamn <laughs> off topic tonight. Siberia <laughs> is on fire. Yes. Moving on. And School. It is, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> and it is the most massive. Um. Uh, release of CO2 emissions in like 65 years and it, it just released that so much healthy. it's so bad it's the mo- it's like There's I don't even know the amount of carbon that's just been released into the atmosphere but it, it just fucked the CO it, it fucks the ozone so what, what is the what is it, the uh, effects of that gonna be uh, the ozone is getting fucked up um, uh, the ozone layer which if it, you're wondering what the ozone la- Jacob this is my topic <laughs> now, now, Jacob, what do we say about interrupting people? Frank, I swear to God. Don't do it. <laughs> okay, okay, Don't do okay, it. okay, okay, okay. Anyways. Why'd you wink at me? That's so weird. The ozone layer protects us from the harmful UV rays uh. and also blocks the heat that stays in. It, whatever, it doesn't matter. The point is that uh, we need it, <laughs> and it's mm-hmm. being thinned out. More and more Blech. every year, Man. and <laughs> fucking gross. Everyone, that was Jonathan. So <laughs> the problem is, is that this only uh, expedites the process of thinning the ozone layer to a level that is irreversible. So yeah. what? Are, what? Are, what's the cause of these fires? I uh, natural. So some of them are natural. Some of them were like cigarettes. But wait, so so some, our Earth is so fucked up. That trees are just spontaneously combusting. Now? Well, I mean, that's what happens in California. <laughs> it, it, oh, good. It can be <laughs> so hot like that there, something but... happened. Mm-hmm. But it's also it's that's a Siberia. matter of there's there can be lightning strikes. There can be this. Mm-hmm, I, right. There's there's no real way to understand how every fire starts. It just starts and it goes and builds right. and we can't stop it. And the fact that a fire started in Siberia is you know, Siberia bad. is supposed to be fucking cold. It's, it's also supposed to be barren and. Which is also bad because there's no f- natural fire breaks. It's just mm-hmm. forest, yeah. so it just doesn't maybe stop. we should have a, a whole new segment on our show where Peter just updates us on the the well, exis- our trying, existential dread. I was trying yeah. to find a part where there's a there was this post on social media that mm-hmm. showed you like 15 things that are going right. Uh huh. Um, and they're actually pretty pretty impressive. There was a million trees planted, a I couple, about yeah. that. and Good. then four point. Uh, there's a section of the Amazon rainforest. I think it's 15 million acres is being preserved. Awesome. Uh, Britain, uh, Great Britain just made a trust fund for public lands, which cannot be built on anymore for mm-hmm. the rest of the. There's no limit on that deal. Hell yeah. That's also, um, Maryland is banning plastic straws. Starbucks is banning plastic straws. 
mm-hmm. single use plastic, so they are changing. There, there are Connecticut a bunch Banda. of companies that are switching Connecticut to paper straws. Also, Sonic, the company I work for, is also banning styrofoam. Mm-hmm. We are switching to plastic next it's year. It's about damn time. And uh, Connecticut banned uh, plastic bags. Yep. I had a customer that. Well, Maryland is also going to be bl- banning plastic bags. Oh, they in are? the next two years, Good. I think, or something. Good. I don't know. Oh, yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. But um. Yeah, I always like it when people bring. And them. Igloo, the cooler company, and sometimes camping company mm-hmm. just started rolling out their biodegradable reusable um coolers awesome. which retain their ice for 14 hours can hold up to 32 cans i just saw them in target and they're fucking cool they it's, look nice it's always good i feel like we're all we always hear the negatives and the negatives are important but it's always nice there to hear like one. positive things and also yeah. see them in action like yeah. seeing those coolers in target was oh, yeah. really fucking nice there was this one Go company on. um that i saw that has completely like a whole bunch of biodegradable like toiletries like toothpaste toothbrushes like towels mm-hmm. and whatnot and it's like a lifetime buy it's like you pay 60 bucks and you just get a lifetime yeah. supplies have you ever seen anything like that no but i know I, one thing about toothbrushes plastic toothbrushes stay in the earth or in the ocean for like 75 yeah, years they don't they're moving towards like a whole bunch of different like i really love that uh, the way that like there are companies coming out of nowhere just like providing stuff that's like you know biodegradable environmental friendly and the fact that it's actually becoming like more and more widespread it's something that we need i mean granted we're gonna need to you know up the process this, a little this, bit this this kid in uh iceland i think it was iceland uh was at the google science <laughs> convention and he won the award for the for, for the entire science fair it's basically a, a national science fair for his research on getting rid of microplastics in the ocean, which is a big problem because microplastics cause animals to choke. Uh huh. And so, I literally can't focus. <laughs> you're been putting shirt on backwards. I don't know why. <laughs> Jacob, talk about your topic. I'm done. No, 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 no. Go ahead. Go no, ahead. it's fine. Keep talking. No, All right, fine. school. I don't care. <laughs> All right, so I guess since we're moving online, we previous, well, last week I got into the wonderful. Um, I got to learn about. Um, Connections mm-hmm. Academy, which is a online virtual public school, mm-hmm. not to be confused with homeschooling. Um, a virtual public school is a public school that is, you know, virtual, uh, but it has all the state regulations that would, you know, follow with a regular yeah, with public, a public school. school. Yeah. Okay. Yes, Maryland does not have it because Maryland is dumb and it does not recognize this as an actual public school. However. Go on. Mm-hmm. Maryland Department of Education is just uh, fucked. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Well, it's also we're too focused on standardized testing rather than the enrichment of each qualities of every student. Yeah. And yeah. getting mm-hmm. getting to know our students and enjoying what they're good at and rather than if I'm being honest, when we were in high school, when we had the pathways and the uh completers, mm-hmm. I thought that was the dumbest shit ever. Yeah. And I was very vocal about it. I told my counselor, I think this is dumb and I think your job is a sham. <laughs> my counselor didn't give a shit. The thing is, is I I don't know about you, but I was I was much more outspoken. I remember trying to advocate for a free period, Husky period. Oh my god! Put oh. it on the announcements. I put the sign that said "Bring back Husky period" on the uh, last day of school. Mm-hmm. Got banned from the morning announcements for a month. You did? Yeah. Miss uh, the the woman wouldn't let me go back on. <laughs> I, I almost said her name, but I shouldn't. That's but, so but the the director of yeah I know you WPAC. Said, all right, you're not you're not anchoring anymore. I was like, whatever. But then, <laughs> senior year first, uh, what was it? One one or two months in, I brought a bunch of flyers, handed it out to every table, and the principal mm-hmm. stopped me and dragged me in, saying, "You can't do that." I'm like, "Well, uh, why not?" I, you. <laughs> I mean, in I was like, honesty, "Whatever." None of us really use that free period for anything productive. But it doesn't matter. Besides that's not the to p- cram our homework because we thought we could put it off till the free even, period. But that's the point. That. It, <laughs> I just for around. one, it, it it prepares you to understand how to deal with your free time. Sure, we weren't we yeah. didn't understand how to use it, but the point is that you open them to it, and you. The problem with public school is it's so. It just feels like a machine. And that's where Connections Academy comes in. Because public... It's, it's extremely flexible. But not everyone has access to internet. Ads. That's the problem. And that's also that's where it comes in. Because if it would you be do great have... for inner city schools, for inner city kids, but not everyone has access to internet. Well, guess what? Free. They supply um, laptops, computers. computers, and it also helps um, pay for internet subsidy pay- like really? payments. Yes. Interesting. 
That, um, makes, it, that makes it a lot more interesting than it, I was mm-hmm. expecting it to be. Yep. So if... Not to shit on it. So let's say, like, you're a new family who wants to enroll. However, you don't have, like, a computer or a laptop or anything. Mm-hmm. But you really want your kids to enroll because they don't like their public school. Let's say they're getting bullied and whatnot. And they yep. want a bit more of a flexible program. Let's say they want to go a little slower than the pace that they're going at in their school or a little bit faster. They can adjust um, to each and their own, like, individualized, personalized, like, course schedules mm-hmm. and all of that. Of course, they ha- they still have to follow on- along the state guidelines. They still mm-hmm. have to get a certain number of English credits, math credits. Um, but they can provide you with technology. Of course, all of this is depending on the state. Um, yeah. But... Uh, I know Pennsylvania, they, it doesn't matter if you want it or not, they actually give you a laptop. Mm -hmm. And um, depending on if you need help paying for the internet bill, they can help provide that. You just got to, you know, show some documentation. Are they, so are they funded by the government or is it? So they they are. Or is it a, like a. Also, are they for profit or not for profit? Uh, I don't know the answer to that question, but um, they, they do get money. uh, They do get federal income because they are a public school, essentially. Hmm. Okay. They, nice. are, they are classified as public school, and that's that's how we get most of the money <clears throat> for our education. It's because we are federally funded. Mm-hmm. Of course, Maryland doesn't want to fund us, but that's another topic. Yeah. Or more of this. It's, it's the same the topic. Education department here. Well, the uh, problem is, is that the 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 county officials and state officials want to give benefits to people who have private private schools. Mm-hmm. I mean, they want to give out cards to them. Harford County is like notoriously bad throughout the state. Yeah. Like, um, my boss's girlfriend is a music teacher, and I'm always like, hey, you should move closer. And they're like, no, I do not want to fucking teach in Harford County. It's terrible. They treat their teachers super poorly. They, they do. do. They really do. It, it's also, it's honestly also just went through another round of layoffs, too. Yeah. Yep. They laid off more because yeah. of expenses. Which was the entirety of arts department. The point is the whole the whole Maryland Department of Education, especially in Harford County, it, they need to do an overhaul and they need to take a look at what what they're doing wrong because that's a lot. Well, the problem is is we have a education. Sorry, I'm going to get federally political, but but we have Betsy DeVos as our Department of Education president, and you know she believes in subsidies for private education versus public education. Mm-hmm. Which is bullshit, you know. Yeah, no, that definitely. that fuels the one percent, and that fuels the people that want to give their children a better experience of school. Yeah, they prepare you better for college. You know, my girlfriend went to a private school, and she said, "Yeah, it was cool and all, but you know, it just it doesn't feel as comfortable as you know." She would have rather to go to public school. It's a lot more high society. I I was in a uh, private school for um kindergarten first and eighth grade it's weird but just just roll with it um but and i definitely noticed a huge um well, class difference mm-hmm. um you had it promotes classism honestly it, it does it, it honestly does um and i think because it was you had all because you had all the oh, yeah look uh, how he turned out <laughs> <laughs> just kidding just kidding i'm sorry well, it lets people get away with things because they have the money and they're willing to turn their heads because, you know, they're making an easy paycheck. You know, if you have a, a, a high school that's charging 17000 for tuition, which is the regular, like, Calvert Hall is, like, 17000 for Baltimore. And Archbishop Curley is, like, 20000 And there's a kid's yep. school, an elementary school called Park, which is a non, like, there's no religious affiliation to it. But that's like thirty k easy. Yep. And I mean, Jesus Christ, it's, you're you're not gonna find a private a school that's college. like. God damn. And people are willing to dish out the money for it. Yep. Because mm-hmm. I mean, because there I, are benefits yeah. to it. You have a better college experience, and there it's a it's, it's more it's more like college. You, you have better teachers, better facilities, this that the other. But you know. Because they've got the money to do it. Because our government's not funding schools the way they should. Exactly. Now, so public school suffers, and when public school tries to act like a college, like when. If we want to get close to home, when Patterson Oak tried to have Husky period and took it away, you know that lost a piece of the college feel. Yeah. And, you know? and that that's that's one of the big reasons why I do like I I like um, supporting like Connections Academy and working for it. And the main thing is like mm-hmm. it provides an education system that you know goes above and beyond because they always make sure they have state certified teachers. They make sure that their counselors are certified and like 
they make sure that they're good at what they do. Yeah. yeah. And they make sure that, like, hey, no matter what the student... Ha- like, because they support all sort Like, if they have some sort of disability or if they have... If they're even just struggling to focus or anything like that, they have personalized programs for mm-hmm. each and every student. That's good. And we aren't sponsored by the way. <laughs> no, but if you want to. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. Hey, can I? Um, um, I'll pull some strings. But yeah, I know. <clears throat> I'll pull some strings. <laughs> from speaking of from personal experience, I know like public schools, um, they their teaching style is for one type of student only. Mm-hmm. Um, the, there are a lot of teachers that really don't. You don't and don't know how to adapt to all the different kinds of students, and that's part of the reason why I, I struggled in school is because I my, my teach, brain works in different ways. They you know? teach for the general and not for the individual. Well, they have to stick to a curriculum. You they know? do. I had I had yeah, a but that's part of the part of the problem. That's also a exactly. Part of, yeah. I mean, but I, but I'm I'm sorry. Go on. I was just gonna say. I mean, we work with teachers at music and arts, mm-hmm. and you know, it our part of our job is like you know the employees there is trying to figure out which teacher is best for what student and mm-hmm. like our teachers don't have set curriculum so that they can base it around mm-hmm. what the student wants to learn at yeah. the store and you know the type of the way they respond and that sort of thing that's yeah. also part of the reason why people do private schools is because you know i almost got put in a private school because the teachers there um are more specialized towards students with who think differently yeah. um yeah yeah but with this where it's like more I guess like I I feel like I would I would like to choose this over over a, a private school. I don't know. Oh, absolutely. But it, like you, you, if you can personalize stuff, and like, the cool that's great. thing is like um it actually has like different programs for like different grade levels. So like kinder all through elementary school, you're gonna be on the computer maybe like thirty percent, fifteen to thirty percent of the time because mm-hmm. you're mostly gonna be doing like physical like little projects and stuff like Good. that. Yeah. When you're in middle school, yeah. obviously it becomes like more. It's going to be half and half. Like half the time, you're going to be doing like labs or little projects and stuff like that, and the other half, you're actually going to be on the computer. And then I mean, once you get to high school, it is going to be mostly computerized. I, but again, it it can change however you want it to. Yeah, I mean, I the only problem with that is like if I had a kid or even me personally going mm-hmm. to school, mm-hmm. I like the social aspect of like that sort of thing. You mm-hmm. also get to like. Oh, oh God! Gotta, he's, he's got, got a, a thing smile. for it. <laughs> Jesus yeah. Christ! You know you they, get to you get to see how other people tick, and you make friends. Yeah, yeah. you can still enroll in after school activities in your close like area uh, in your area as well. Huh. That's cool. Okay, that's pretty cool. And not only that, they also have field trips. They have prom and all of that. They have oh, prom. Wow. They do have a prom. Aww. Fuck yeah! <laughs> that's so wholesome. I, yeah. If someone like two little kids fall in love in an after school activity. And then they go to prom. Or it's high school. And it's just... Worse. Yeah. <laughs> but less, less wholesome. A little less wholesome. Right. Okay, whatever. But I, I, yeah, I get what you're thinking. Really. I know what you're thinking about, and I, you're such a very wholesome <laughs> boy. But, it's, um... Anyways. So, overall, it's it's definitely... And there's more programs out, out there like that. Yeah. Um, I, I think it's K-12, through 12, or it's K-12 or something like that. There's another... Uh, website that does something similar um and these online uh virtual public schools as opposed to homeschooling Uh is probably going it's a bright future for education itself because especially nowadays where you know a lot of people aren't getting what they need in public schools like you can actually go out and find the education you're looking for in, at the pace you want. Mm-hmm. I, I take flack with people saying uh, no no offense to 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 you Jonathan because mm-hmm. you you had you had struggles with not getting the maybe not the attention but the way information was given to you it wasn't the right way you needed it. Mm-hmm. The correct teaching um, cuz everyone learns different and you know they public schools had those classes. They had classes that were Going at a slower pace that were more personalized, and you had teachers that were trained to but help that. I think those classes but are presented in a poor way. They are. Those classes that's, are made to seem like that's for. But but hang on, I haven't gotten to my point. My point is, is that smart. <laughs> even those are worse because even then you still have a curriculum to power through, 
and you have teachers saying we're two days behind. You know, everyone's heard. It. Everyone is. Oh yeah. yeah. It's like, we're pretty mm-hmm. behind. We need to speed things up. It's like why? What's the What's the point? You know. Yeah, and even some of those classes aren't like. Like like, I, I get you can't how, please how are everybody, you, but how like, are you gonna say yeah. an AP Chem? All right, guys, we're a day behind. We got to speed up on microelectronics or whatever the fuck it is. I didn't take AP Chem, but yeah. like, how my, are you gonna my, do that? My What's sister the fucking point is in a shit a ton of like AP classes, and she is like, she was like stressed out all the time because the curriculums put so much on her plate. Yeah. It's kind of unfair. Like, no, it's totally unfair. It's it's ridiculous. And they expect you to wake up at six every morning, which I had problems I with. I genuinely go, yeah. think I got I've gotten less like work at college than I have ever in high school. I I agree. Well, it's also yeah. I, I don't know about it depends on your major, but it's I don't know if it'd be less work. It's just it's it's blocked better. Yeah, well that's what I mean. Like, and it's less, more. It's because you can set up manageable. the schedule yourself. Even yeah, then, it's just, in yeah, general, but like, it's... I feel like my teachers don't assign, like, as much stuff to crunch into, like, all right, you've got a, like, two nights to work on this huge project. Because they understand yeah, everyone like, has a life. Yeah, I think I feel like college is more personalized and more on your... Yeah, totally. Which is what I like more than when high school, obviously. And again, like, it's, it's just something to think about, especially for the public, like, especially for Harper County Public Schools. Uh, get your shit together. All right. Uh huh. So, so I believe that wraps about everything up uh, for today. A bit of a oh episode. wait. Oh. oh. Oh my god. Oh. Dick groups. Fuck Donald Trump. Anyway. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Donald Anyways, Trump can suck a dick. So I think that wraps about it up for today. Um. It did. We want to discuss some future. We might plans. be getting stickers. We so might yes. Be ordering some stickers. And we're not I'm designing them. Are ourselves. we? Are we out. giving them out for free? Are we trying to make I, a profit? Uh, or? I think we should give them out for free. We're going to be I giving agree. them out for free. I agree. Yeah. As so some it, local businesses, yeah. hopefully, as long as they're ready to work with them. Check out Main Street in the next couple we'll of keep weeks. We'll yeah. keep you updated. We'll keep you updated. And absolutely. if you want one, message one of us. Yeah, we're yeah. on... Um, you, you so can you can find you, us on Twitter. Um, our Twitters have our like little ats. Yeah, um, each of our can, individual ads. Yeah, you can DM one of us. You can also find um, us on YouTube, Night Owls Podcast. Yeah, uh, it is comment. It is a little yeah, difficult to find, I, I will admit. Really? <laughs> I had no trouble finding it at all. Really? I just looked up the Night Owl Podcast and it was there. Well, it has, really? yeah, it has a few more videos on it, so maybe that... Helps. Yeah, hope, hopefully yeah. that'll help out a little more. Uh, but do check out our YouTube channel. Do check out the Mixcloud. Um, um, also, yeah. also uh, we were... I don't know if we'll get around to it, but... Uh, last so last episode we mentioned the D and D movie, um, and something that we talked about might be uh, a yes. cool idea is uh, so Jacob actually owns it. I do actually own Surprise. the D and D movie from two thousand one. <laughs> so maybe we'll watch it and review it, and then, then come on and like follow review up. it here. Yeah, we might have a follow up on that movie. Yeah, that, so, I think that would be kind of cool. New. So stay yeah. tuned. We might actually have something interesting for you guys next week. Yeah. Wow! Imagine not thinking this was interesting. Goodbye. Uh, goodbye. See you later. <laughs>